Hunter x Hunter episode 87, Promise X and X Reunion. Wait, didn't we just watch this one? Wait, what? I think that's a mistake. <laughs> this episode 87, Dual X and X Escape. It's not my mistake, it's Crunchyroll. Damn, that is disgusting. <laughs> Bisky should really go. <laughs> also, everyone should go. Yeah, Gon's key point there was they're not thinking about this task. They're thinking about Neferpitsu probably. The ants. What is tripling in power? <laughs> Fighting now? Well, they might have blown blown past their target since they had a higher one. Aim for the stars and reach the moon, etc. Or whatever that is. <laughs> I mean, I trust her judgment. We have a lot of experience stealing stuff, like name tags, cards. Okay, and Bisky we trust. <laughs> Big softy. <laughs> Can't hate this guy, it's not possible. Does he remember seeing him? Or is it their kids? <laughs> Where's the other one? Oh, we can tell they haven't slapped. That's not good. Can we just have the thing? <laughs> Big softy. I get the outer displays now. He's hiding it. Exciting his sweetness. We can't. I mean, how do you fight? Nah. Oh, another gamble. Another instance of someone else's game. He could have a very specific power for this situation. That's really amazing to hear Gon say. This is well suited for Gon. <laughs> Having second thoughts. And Gon is practice this exact thing. It really is rock, scissors, or paper. Oh, damn. Well, I, I, okay, well, he moved. <laughs> Only my pride. Did he switch to the last moment? Is he dead? Did Knuckle just die? It's really unclear. Where's the other guy? Wow, they're scary. <laughs> nah, it's not, not their style. Oh wow, that's classic going where it's not about the, the piece or the card or the name tag, but about the ability and the, the self-narrative. I don't want to win that way. The more I think about that, the deeper and cooler it gets. You want things that are real and meaningful. Other desires can be extremely compelling, but you can imagine it as a, a spectrum, right? Like, which would you rather have? Would you rather have something you really desire, an outcome, let's say, 
or a thing, you'd probably be happy to luck into it. But you'd feel way better having figured it out and earning it and tying that to something that reinforces your sense of self, adding something systemically to your own personal strengths. And even more than that, the things you gain sort of by luck or things that are not you're doing, the good feelings will quickly fade. A good example of that would be money. Anybody who wants money would feel elated to win the lottery and it would solve a lot of problems and probably be great for your life in a materialistic sense, but in a long-term self-image, emotional health sense, that would just become your baseline. And while your material position would be, at least initially, much better, spiritually, it feels like you'd sort of be in the same place. Whereas if you like earned a lot of money from doing something that was in service to the world and had to fight and overcome personal demons and push yourself and do difficult things, and you really could directly see how what you became and what you, you pushed for and the things you learned equated to the result that you wanted, that's something really special. And even then the money fades, but like in that situation, you're left with all of the other things that you built for yourself. We're all good people in this room. <laughs> yeah, this is surprisingly heartwarming and I love it. Oh, the puppy's here. You now have a greater purpose in life. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay to cry. We know you're strong. So we're still gonna fight? I mean, uh, like, all the ill will is gone. Except from Palm. Please don't stab him. I, I like you. I want to like you, Palm. Interesting. Well, this guy's great. So many great characters slipping in and out of this show's storyline seamlessly. We also would get along very well. I think best case scenario, this becomes a really, really great friendship and like training exercise for them. I mean, they're sure to have the peace, but it's really the obstacle is like going wanting to feel like you earned it and that will require actual growth. Yeah, I mean, this is all, you know, whatever, not impressive. These will be short work, right? Wow, goodbye. That actually is deadly. Oh, I thought it was like a black hole. Oh, maybe it is. Got it. That's really cool. That's what he meant by one-on-one. -on -one. I'm so curious what that power now. Could, what, like, can you put anything in that room? Can you just like fill it with fire or something? Acid? Yeah, but this is like stepping on, well, ants. Compared to fighting a, a bear or three bears. My boy's gonna come back ripped. This is all great, but like, it's hard for me to even take it seriously. It's really cool, just these, these three hitmen coming in to handle a whole army behind enemy lines. But like, really, they're just dealing with all these nothings. The way Neferpita was introduced, it makes it feel like every minor henchman you defeat fills up the progress bar towards defeating her by 0% effectively. Somewhat defeated. Yeah, something's going on in his head. Though, I don't think it's weakness necessarily. I think he just might be one of those people that processes things best with a little bit of healthy detachment from full belief and faith in the outcome. I think out of all the shows I've watched, I've seen the full spectrum. Various ways people process things in order to give their maximum output. And it turns out that perhaps there's no right answer. Like on the other extreme end, you have characters like Zenitsu and Stark, whose way of getting themselves ready is whining and complaining. That brings their extreme anxieties to the surface in a visible way, which I think for them makes those things lose power when it's time to actually act. They're meditating on their own fear and sort of acclimating themselves to it. And then you have the people who like won't entertain any fear at all that are seeming more in the middle. I guess there are pitfalls to all of those things. It just depends on how they're used. Like he's found his new calling. Here we go again. This time much more friendly. I know, we actually might get to see what he can do. Good, good, good. I'm glad to see it. I'm glad to see it. It makes the softy thing all the cooler that he's actually the man. <laughs> there he is. Is he Onizuka's voice actor? Is that why he reminds me of Onizuka, aside from the whole Yakuza aesthetic? It is him! Whoa! Crazy! That's so cool. 
Well cast. It was the yelling. It was that line that did it. That was so Onizuka. No wonder I instantly loved him. I hope this ends with the principal's car getting destroyed somehow. Right, you don't do, do them any favors by taking it easy on them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. Fair. Fair enough. It's for your own good. Yeah, there's a second one that just never showed up. Or I guess this is him. I love how his softness is so transparent to everyone. Fight all his efforts. Okay, yeah. I forgot for a second that there's two. Well, that's it. I hope he becomes a party member. I hope he joins. I <laughs> He's so cool. Join us and never leave. Go and include a man. I know I said this before. How? <laughs> like, I'm not even involved. It's a show. I am on edge despite these relatively happy episodes because I know what's going on with the ant stuff. Like, you gotta hurry this up a little bit. How do you, like, focus on anything with this looming ahead of you? It's not that they're ignoring it. They're thinking about it in the best possible way, which is that it's their motivation for doing all this. But wow, I cannot understate how impressive of that is. And the way it's working out, it is making Netero look right, pushing them through this challenge. It's not arbitrary at all. Not because it couldn't be, like it could be an arbitrary task that just was meaningless, but in the hands of Gon and Kalua, especially with the outlook Gon laid out last episode, they will use it to be exactly what it needs to be. So maybe Netero's insight there was not the, the side quest or the minigame, but insight into their character.